no! The carrier sure should have got mustard stains on my nipples! How did this even happen? How is this even possible? Hi! Welcome back to Cooking with Ben. Today I'm making a recipe that's so darn easy I don't even need to make a video about it, but I've heard comments from other people saying, Ben, you make a great tuna sandwich. So I thought I'd share my benefit tuna sandwich recipe with you all. Alright, here we go. Here's what you're going to need for the tuna, benefit tuna sandwich recipe. Alright, a little bit of Dijon, a little bit of yellow mustard, jalapeno, mayonnaise, of course. I use a little bit of onion. I got about not even half an onion here, just whatever to chop it up. A little bit of garlic, sriracha, you know what, and some fresh parsley. Now the only ingredient that I am missing is the banana pepper, but some people don't like the banana pepper. I like banana pepper. Here and there, sometimes you get a banana pepper and you bite into it, it's kind of hard still. Yeah. And with the jalapenos, I happen to have jars on hand, so I'm using jar, but I like to use fresh. So you can go both ways, whatever you want. All right, let's start making some, oh, well, and then you need the tuna, of course. You know, I've got this size can of tuna. So I've got four of this size can tuning by, you know, two sizes of the, of the bigger size. This is the, yeah, I don't know what size that is, but it's, it's, it's not very big. So let's get making some tuna. All right, so I gotta put this can in my can opener here and just kind of watch it spin around. It certainly is pretty lame, but whatever. This is my second can. It's taking forever. This is only my third. I still got one more to go, guys. I'm sorry. These darn things. And finally, my last can. All right, see you in another couple minutes, jeez. Okay, so now I'm gonna drain my tuna into this little strainer thing here, over the sink. Here we go, plop. Try to get it all out of there, give it some shakes, some really good hard Jer Ron Jeremy shakes there. All right, another one. Here's part two. Yeah. Uh oh, they made a third sequel. Really? Okay. Well, let's let's shake that one on up. Oh, we're not done yet. We've got one more tuna go. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Look at all. You can just smell the tuna in here. Smelling the tuna. Gonna have a good tuna sandwich. Mm. Give it a nice little shake. Drain all those juices out of there. Okay, so I've got my tuna draining. So I'm just going to go ahead and dice this onion up small like. Really small. Depending on how much you like onion, and I like onion, so it doesn't matter how big or small it is to me, but I'll probably dice it up pretty small. And I've got my bowl here, which I'm going to put my mayonnaise and my wet sauce in, you know, my mustard, sriracha, and all that stuff. So i got my bowl ready. Tuna's in the sink still draining, so I'm just going to go ahead and dice up my onion. Let's get dicing. <laughs> So I got all my onion all diced up in there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting about a handful of pickled uh, jalapenos. Like I said, you can use fresh, but I had this on hand. And again, banana pepper goes really well with this recipe. But, you know, I didn't have that on hand, so we're just gonna go ahead and use the jalapenos. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm cutting up a handful of these, dicing them as best as I can. I'm gonna throw them in with the onion, and then next we're gonna stir in our wet sauces. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of garlic in there probably about a half a tablespoon not even I mean a half a I don't know what you'd call that maybe a teaspoon. I don't know just a little dabble of that in there Just a dabble. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. We'll call it a little dabble a little dabble of garlic <laughs> I want to say about a cup of mayonnaise, but I'm gonna go ahead and eyeball it Just it basically mayonnaise goes on what how it you know how you want it to be you want it to be really mayonnaise-y or not? Grab some sriracha, 
Give that a nice plentiful squirt. I like mine hot. You're gonna put in a little Dijon, Dijon. Just a little squirt of that. And then a squirt of another mustard, just the plain old yellow mustard. Gonna squirt that on in there. Mm. All right, you got that all squirted up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start whisking it all together and make it look like a good sauce. Okay, so I'm getting my sauce all mixed up. This is what it should look like right now. Nice little color to it. It's not all the way, you know, mayonnaise. -y. It's a little bit more of an orange color. It's due to the sriracha, I suppose. <laughs> and now the next thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and add the tuna to it and then some pepper. And then we're gonna test it and see if we need any more mayonnaise. All right, here we go. Picking up the tuna. Come here, tuna. <laughs> oh, look at that. I caught the chicken of the sea. Sure did. All right, you get all your two of them in here with all your wet. Mmm, it's already smelling so good. A good tuna smell. All righty, so I got it all mixed around. I put about another tablespoon to about two, actually about two tablespoons more of mayonnaise. It was a little dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in some fresh ground pepper. Probably about 48 twer twists of the pepper. 21, 22, 32, 46. Oh, 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 there's 48. And go ahead and stir that around. I forgot to mention what goes well with fish. Lemon. So I'm going to take a couple dabbles of squirts of this. Dabbles of squirts. Just gonna squirt it a couple times, get a little lemon in there. Then the last part's put in my parsley. Add a little green, a little freshness, especially to the taste. It's the best. Get, oh yeah, just there's a good, that's two good little squirts right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my parsley. Throw my parsley right on top, that old lemon there. Oh, that looks, that is looking gourmetish, if I may say so myself. Just gonna stir it all around, combine all the ingredients really good, and then I'm gonna taste test it, and bam! Got yourself the best tuna ever! Yeah! Okay, so I'm done with making my tuna, and that's my recipe. I hope you enjoy it and try it yourself sometime. Another tip too, if you like a little extra heat, put a little uh, cayenne pepper in there. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test quick before I let you go. All right, here we go. This is the true moment of testing tuna. All right, we get a little bit of everything on that tuna. Parsley, onion. Mm. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, the lemon, parsley, and the oh, spice. I'm telling you, you guys need to try this tuna. Just not after I double dip, but it's only for me. My life partner's a vegetarian, so go me, huh? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now get eating.